All right, Mr. Teleferro TV, how's everybody doing out there? As we told you guys earlier, Chris Brown was accused of rape by a model in Paris. Now, I did update you guys about an hour or so ago and tell you guys that Chris Brown uh, has been released. There were no charges filed to him or to the two associates that were with him that got uh, arrested as well. He's free to leave Paris if he likes too or he can stay out there again no charges have been filed i'm I, knowing chris brown i'm pretty sure he's going to leave all right he's going to get the hell up out of there uh yeah if i'm if i know him you know he's going to get the hell up out of there so so here's where we're at with it chris brown has done a lot of favors for a lot of artists he's very respected and he is a legend in regards to his talent he's a legend and he's made a lot of connectionships so the hip-hop community they decided to come to Breezy's defense today. I mean, they roll heavy for their own. They ain't having any of it in regards to Chris Brown. They believe that this uh, artist, this singer, this phenomenal talent is being set up because of the new deal he signed. So let's start here with T.I. Clifford Harris. This is what he said about Chris Brown's situation. He posted a picture of Chris Brown uh, being released without charges in Paris. He said, okay, so now what happens to the false accuser? She should face the same scrutiny and punishment as he would if he, if he had did it, all right? King's critical thinking. He went on to post this picture, and this is a post of, you know, Chris Brown just recently signed a new deal, and, and he's going to become an artist that owns his master recordings. T.I. said, first this, then rape allegations? Boosie also commented on that post as well. He said, first this major move, now he raped somebody? My nigga be on a, the jet with seven to ten baddies for real. Rape, get the fuck out of here. They coming for us all. Oh, who's next? 100. Bitch, you lying. I hope you get raped for real by a gang gang, you money hungry asshole. Somebody got to start beating these hoes ass where the hood bitch is at. Yeah, so uh, Boosie went in. Yo, that's a very harsh thing to say. Joyner Lucas, an artist that recently worked with Chris Brown, he had some uh, very in-depth comment on Chris Brown's situation. He said, bro, seriously, shaking my head, get the fuck off my nigga's dick, bro. Chris Brown ain't rape nobody, and any and every uh, way somebody gets the opportunity to create a story and try to ruin my nigga's leg legacy, they take it. It won't happen, though. Anybody who actually thinks Breezy needs to take some pussy got issue. Trust me, when I say it doesn't matter what city, state, country, or continent this nigga goes to, he can literally pick like a flower from a garden of bad bitches who he want to fuck, and it's that simple. Nobody about to make me believe this nigga is a rapist. No way, no fucking hell. And if anybody is mad at this post and wants to unfollow me, then be my fucking guest. This is the reason why he been in the house for so many years and barely goes anywhere. The moment the nigga take a vacation to Paris, then now he a race rapist. I'm no conspiracy theorist, but no bullshit. I'm really starting to believe that TV networks are paying motherfuckers to false claim allegations just so they can turn it into a documentary shaking my head fuck out of here listen man again i said this in my previous videos i was not there i don't know what chris brown could have did to this woman or, or what she could be lying about both are in play right both are definitely in play i will say this i think we need to just let evidence come out and i think we just need to let the justice system be the justice system Two things that, that kind of come to mind. When I see artists going that heavy to defend somebody in a situation where they were not there either, all right? They, like, just how I wasn't there or you wasn't there, that artist who's taking up for that artist, they're a friend of that artist, all right? They have, they have some type of vendetta in this. That's their friend, and they're taking up for their friend. I'm not mad at that. They're not journalists. That's my job. That's other journalists' jobs to be unbiased. I will say this, though. Two things. There were a lot of people who defended R. Kelly, five, 10 years back and said, he would never, he could never, he would never do that to these young women. And I'm not saying R. Kelly's guilty of anything, but uh, sometimes being quiet to me is as guilty as saying a mouthful. And we have yet to hear R. Kelly make a statement in regards to a lot of these allegations over the years. And he did marry Aaliyah at 15. That can't be disputed. That's documented evidence, all right? And he was 28, 27, 28 at the time. That's documented, right? A lot of people caked up for R. Kelly back in the day. Matter of fact, I know social media was not as prevalent over a decade ago. When Chris Brown got into a Rihanna, a lot of people defended Chris Brown in that regard until the pictures came out of Rihanna freaking face being bashed in. And then Chris Brown ended up 
himself apologizing and said he did some things wrong. I'm not saying the brother's guilty. I'm not mad at friends for being friends. Only, only point I'm trying to make is none of us know. So I don't go crazy the first day when I see somebody come out with rape allegations. I always feel for anybody who could have been victimized. And I just say, yo, I want the, I want the allegations. I want the whole case to be laid out. And I want everything to be either found proved innocent or guilty. But I always feel for an alleged victim. And I also don't look too far into somebody caping up for a friend of theirs. Somebody that they work with. They're in the same company in the, or the same business as. Right? I, I don't look too far into that either. I just stay neutral because everyone has their motives. In every case, we don't know what he could have did. We don't know if drugs were in play from either Chris Brown or this person who alleged that he raped her. She could be on drugs, he could be on drugs. We don't know, we, we just, I don't like the people who just jumped the gun, all right, in either direction. I don't like when we get people out of here that quickly without evidence, and I don't like the fact when we get the victim, alleged victim out of there, when we don't know if she's telling the truth or lying. We don't know. Thank y'all so much for the time, love support. They gonna ride for Chris Brown, bro. Look, the, in the same month that we probably lost R. Kelly for good, like officially lost, like he's gone, from, they trying their hardest to not lose Chris Brown. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. And by the way, I just want to end with this. Again, not saying anyone did anything. I've seen a person who I thought was a good person lie on someone else's name. And I've also seen a person who I thought was a good person I, I've seen them be found guilty of rape. Both can happen. Both can happen. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They you are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.